Hi, I'm Chess, and you're watching Chess's Crazy Creations. Many people use these to hold lids, but I'm going to show you what we're going to use it for. I'm placing it on our desk, and this sits right in our kitchen. Next, I place the folders into the slots and you can place these vertical or horizontal, whichever you prefer. And then when my kids need to do homework in each subject, they just come grab the folder they need and then they can put it back when they're done. I'll be talking about some school supplies and what we do with them in our home. This is a box from one of my son's previous years in school. And we took all of the old markers and put them in the box and we store them in the kitchen close to where the kids do their homework. My kids would always complain that their markers or different things would disappear. And by putting their initials on it, they would always know which ones were theirs. We put previous year's crayons in a container as well. You could easily buy new ones if you prefer. We keep these in a drawer close to where they do their homework so that they have easy access to them. In another drawer, I keep their printer paper as well as their construction paper and other supplies that they need for their school projects. We also place a sharpener, pens, pencils, and scissors along with their folders to create a workspace that has everything they'll need to do their homework and projects. Another thing we like to use is index cards and you can either get a container that holds them or a binder. These are great for spelling words, or you can do math problems on them, but you put them in the container and you can take them with you or leave them at home. My daughter likes to put notes on them for studying for tests for different subjects. So that's another great use to create some flashcards. Now our kids help with chores at our house. And so I went to the dollar store and picked up one of these picture frames, but they sell them at Walmart and other places as well. I removed the glass and then I just, I usually just flip this piece over so that in case I need to know the size of the frame later, I want to know. I print out the list of what their chores are that we made up. I place the glass back on top like this. So as the kids complete their tasks, they can check them off or X them or cross them off, whichever they prefer. And then when we're all done, we just erase it and start over. I found these cute chalkboard tags at the dollar store. Now I'm going to use a piece of chalk, but you can use liquid markers. You just need something that will go show up on black, or you could use a different color tag. And I'm going to write each day of the week, the initial for it on the tag. When my kids were younger, we would pick out outfits for the school week to make the mornings easier. So maybe leggings or pants would be under here, plus the shirt. Then I would take these tags and hook them on the hanger so they knew what outfit they were wearing each day of the week. This sure did help make our mornings faster and smoother because they just grabbed an outfit and put it on each day. One of the things I like to use is my Dremel engraver and you simply find a place and then engrave the name into the plastic. And here's a closer look at what that engraving looks like. These particular calculators also have a lid, so I went ahead and did the front side as well. Now, if you're not interested in using an engraver, you can also use address labels or print your own labels and just stick them on anything that you need to, whether it's a water bottle, a lunch bag, school supplies, and more. Now for this next project, I'm using a display board and you could leave it plain. Um, I'll be using some stickers today from the dollar store. But the other thing you could do is I, I like to let my kids um, decorate this however they want. So if they want to draw, cut and paste, whatever they want to do, this is their special board and I let them decorate it so that it suits them. I'm gonna go ahead and carefully remove these stickers and place them on the board and show you what that looks like when it's finished. I've got the stickers placed on 
And again, I really love to let the kids decorate it how they want. See that TV over there? That can be a huge source of distraction when one kid is watching and the other kid is trying to do homework. So we usually like to put up this display board that helps make a privacy area where they can't see the TV and can focus on their homework. One of the things I like about this is I can fold it up and put it away when we're done. I like to use these over the door hangers so that my kids have a place to hang their backpacks when they come home. We're always sure to put their name on their backpack so that they know this one is theirs. For this next hack, you'll need a sponge. We're gonna take the sponge and place it in a baggie. Then we're gonna add some water so the sponge is full and we're gonna seal it. We're gonna place the sponge into the freezer and let it freeze overnight. I like it when my kids can help participate in making their lunches. So I put snacks in a bin so that they can pick a couple things that they want to add to their lunch while I'm making the main course. So I have a bin of quick grab snacks and then I also have some protein snacks for them as well. I'm gonna place their lunch items in their lunch bag and then I'm gonna place the frozen sponge into the lunch bag and close it and this will help keep their lunch cool. Sometimes there's just not enough room for this lunch box to fit inside the backpack. So I like these carabiner clips and they come in a variety of sizes. These are great to hook your purse to a shopping cart too so your purse stays in place. We simply hook the, hook the lunch box and then we clip it onto the backpack. So for some things that I like to put in my kids' backpacks, usually some sanitizing wipes, some tissue, and a mini first aid kit. My kids like to keep a few extra pencils in their backpacks, but we don't want the lead to break. So I place them inside a toothbrush holder and place it in their backpack. So I like to get these little containers. You can usually find them at places like the dollar store or Walmart, and they can hold snacks, which is one great thing, but they can also hold flashcards or one of the other things we like to do is place some crayons inside of them so that they can go in the backpack as well. When my kids reached middle school and high school, they were often walking to the bus in the winter time in the dark. So I bought this slap bracelet that I could straighten out and put on the back of their backpack that clipped on and it would light up and it could be solid or it could flash. And I thought it was a great safety feature. Okay, so let's load it up. So we're gonna place the crayons in. We're gonna also place in the pencils and the tissue. And I'm gonna place in the first aid kit. And I'm also gonna place in the sanitizing wipes. I'm gonna go ahead and click the lunch onto the top. Next, we're gonna talk about water bottles. And I like the kind that have these clips on them, or at least a handle so I can add another carabiner to it. We simply slide the water bottle in, and then on one of the zippers, I add a key ring, and I clip the water bottle onto the bag. This way we don't lose any water bottles. I hope this inspires you to try some of these back to school hacks and ideas. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog at chasscrazycreations.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.